Welcome back, I'm Lore24. Welcome to The Road to KSP2. We're gonna be playing the Galileo Planet Pack again and load the game and make our way to SETI, the second moon of Gale. Last episode, we landed on iota because we have lots of fuel left we're going to be trying to go to gale uh, to to seti so it's a current orbit so we have to uh, well, do an inclination change i'll be trying the same method as where we will be trying to get a direct encounter without an real big inclination change and maneuver here and how does that look yeah okay and ease back a bit yeah make sure we just have one engine on shut down this one alt l to lock staging you can see at the bottom left the uh, stage uh, light is now red as before this is a sandbox play so i didn't bother to bring any science instrument we'll be landing planting a flag and then leave and uh, return to gale because of my orbit um of my orbit altitude i can't <laughs> warp any faster um, but there's a workaround, we return to the space center, to the tracking station, there, you, there is a, and then you can warp, um, then you don't have a limit on your um, warp speed, or your time warp speed. The Kerbal uh, Redux, uh, engineering Redux, is a very useful tool, especially in these older versions. Now we come back to the note, in these older versions where you don't have um, time to node burn uh, indicator uh, at your nav ball. In the newer versions, you do have that. And let's burn. should be close enough yes it is let's add a maneuver at the ascending node which is yeah close to our periapsis which is very efficient and let's see if we get an encounter or descending node no no we don't separation is so very far okay let's add another orbit and then we do get an encounter, awesome account. This is a close to perfect encounter. 75 days in the future, but we're not pressed for times. So we don't have a life support mod or any other missions running as this is a sandbox. So 75 day orbit is not a problem. Turn into the maneuver. I want to be exact on this one. Usually, if you are on large um, orbits, especially around the um, around the central star, um, it doesn't really matter if you do it on a minute early or a minute late. But uh, as this is a very small maneuver, I want to get it right. So let's. here up okay We're coming in the well for my taste in the wrong direction hmm. because we'll be orbiting as it looks yeah clockwise not anti-clockwise oh it's fine it's fine we'll be having no problem returning from these small moons so we do a 140 here and 
then another one at the periapsis, but we'll set this one up as we get there. Now let's time up to that. There is SETI falling right to it. Not just beneath the pole, just beautiful textured planet. Okay, close alarm. You're close enough to periapsis to just burn. Set up another one for the circularization burn. That'll be another whoop, 150, 120. And again, we will be landing on the sunny side of SETI. Just moving a bit further. Did it. So wasted a bit of fuel there. Still plenty in this vehicle. So this area kinda looks flat. We'll be sending Pudi back to the lander. Good luck Pudi. And then we'll warp as fast as we can. 22 minutes. Okay, that's now. Now let's uh, return to the space center. To the tracking station. Or you can just stay in the space center. Doesn't really matter. Um, alarm clock is here. And will give us the option to jump back to ship. Jump to ship. Let's go uh, radial in. That'll make things easier for the undocking. Undock, change vehicle, basically turn retrograde, activate engines. And did I refuel? No. Well, this is messy now. Okay, we need to redock. And we have redocked. This one goes out. No, out. out. Okay, so there's a little bit left in the orbiter. So in case um, I run out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, this is a massive, 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 massive Delta V. Over 3000 after I decoupled the tanks. Gear down. Lights on for safety reasons. And just one more solar panel left because of our last landing. 12 seconds to suicide burn. We'll be starting slightly earlier. This is not a maneuver note. This is a real impact situation we'll be avoiding here. jumpy SAS off perfectly flat terrain couldn't have been better okay hope this doesn't wiggle itself to death just a short time warp screenshot time oh, 
けでやるとき。いや、みたいな。So that was cool. Okay, now let's get back. So, we'll be taking off right now. We are not waiting another orbit because now we can get the inclination just right. So, we have to start、um, northwest. So, SA is on full power. See, we already do have a small inclination. The orbiter is ahead of us, so we'll be trying to catch up.、Mm, try a smaller orbit, and our inclination will be 0.3. That's really, really good. That was a lucky shot. And I really over designed this lander. It's really, really, really too much, too big.、Uh, maybe we could go to a different planet even with this. We are flying lower, so we will catch up eventually. Close this over orbit, then we get then it's 0.2. Again, the Matt Lown technique of lazy docking. Point the craft. Let's switch the other craft. Set as target. Point them there. And let's see that nothing goes wrong. So, what this does is basically you don't have to、um, wiggle and see if you're in the right orientation. The translation is the easy part. Well, it's not if you don't have like, tools like the docking alignment indicator, which doesn't seem to work on this build because I definitely installed it. And then you need help.、Um, the translation is like up, down, left, right. In this orientation, what you do with the I, J, K, L keys. Um, but I, I think the, the orientation of the craft is the difficult thing in docking. So I'm almost pointed towards it, and now I can just translate with the RCS directly towards it. We are way too fast for real docking, but this is called a space program. And there we go. So, lock staging again, Alt L. So, what do we have here? A lot of fuel and switch off this one, this engine. Okay, I'm gonna transfer all the fuel. Jesus Christ, do we have a lot of fuel here? Transfer Puri. So, wherever we're going, we're leaving the lander here. So, let's dock 1700. Wow. Let's see where we go. I would really like to go to.、Um, No. Goss? Is it Goss? Yeah, Goss is very interesting. It's a gas giant and it's two moons, and one of the moons has Ema. It's a moon's moon. Maybe for another episode,、um, I'll be taking a ship to、uh, what's it called? Goss. So let's plan our return. Delta V. Let's just go crazy with this one. Turn to the maneuver, which is pro grade, yeah, obviously. And you know what I did just realize? We're missing, and that's a basic, 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 as the maneuver comes up, a basic rule of things you do not forget is a parachute. So, We'll be, as I missed the burn slightly, we'll be taking this craft. Oh, this was too close for comfort. We'll be taking this craft to the orbit of、uh, Gale and we'll do a rescue mission for our brave、um, Galeonauts, Pudi, and Bobert. So, how did I、um, realize that there are no parachutes here? Because I was just concerned with lock staging again, so I don't ac accidentally、uh, split up the、uh, capsule, the landing capsule from the craft. And then、uh, I thought to myself, well, there should be a parachute. Why is there no parachute?
It's because I forgot to put one on and put a docking port on top, which is not so uncommon. But um, if one uh, does that, then one should, and with one I mean myself, one should add um, radial parachutes. So we'll be um, helping our rescuers um, by making a comfortable orbit. But first we need to leave the sphere of influence. We'll be trying a we'll just take IOTA because IOTA's got a um, not so inclined orbit. Set as target. Okay. How much delta V does that cost? That will be less costly here. We should be burning retrograde as well. Just to make our orbit slightly more comfortable for our rescuers. Maybe I send a rescue ship in the next episode. And maybe just a rescue probe that attaches to the docking port with um, with parachutes. And um, on the same ship, maybe a craft that goes to a different planet. I don't know. I think about it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think I should do. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos, leave a comment, give me hints. Um, Kerbal Space Program is a very complex thing, especially with mods and lots of people have uh, different experiences and have um, a lot of knowledge. So just let me know. I'm thankful for any advice you can give me. But if you have other ideas, please let me know, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.